Hello, Gary Simon at designcourse.com. Today, I'm going to be designing a logo for an upcoming designcourse.com series called Revised. So Revised will start pretty shortly, and I'm going to put out a video either weekly or once every two weeks, and each episode is going to be based around redesigning a logo for an established website. So the website needs to meet two different criteria. First, it has to be active and have traffic, and second, it has to have a logo that is in desperate need of a redesign. So I'll redesign it in the series, and then I'll contact the website owner uh, with a free copy of whatever I redesign, and then in the next week's following episode, I'll state whether or not that uh, website owner decided to use it or not. So it'll be a fun series and just uh, another way to put out videos that pertain to logo design, which I know a lot of you like. All right, so I'm going to get started here with that revised logo in Adobe Illustrator. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. Let's get started. All right, so I'm in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to go File New. Let's call this Revised. And I'm going to use 860 by 600, which works well at my current resolution for recording. And uh, I'm going to leave RGB here and everything else the same. I'm going to hit Control-1 to get to 100%. And all right, so let's get our type out. So the name of this of course is Design Course Revised, so the actual name that we're going to be focused on is the name of this little show revised so I'm just gonna type that in in all caps right there so the default font I have is Mario Pro I when I was designing this beforehand I came across the one that I liked it's very simple it's almost like this except it's thinner and it's called stark light or wait a second no, that's certainly not it. Oh, because it's Stark Light, that's why. There we go. All right. As you can see, very simple. I uh, and so when I was trying to come up with concepts for this potentially, uh, I wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be based on a word mark uh, only, not a separate symbol or anything like that. So, but I did want to create some type of sort of just very simple clever play um, off of one of the letters. So when you think of revising something, especially a logo or redesigning something, there's several different avenues you could take. So of course you have the typical recycle sort of arrows or whatever that could be implemented, although that's something that's a little bit overdone. Um, and so I began just to, to look at these letters and I thought to myself, okay, well, we have the V here and whenever it comes to revising anything in general, this isn't just computer graphics, um, this is anything, you know, you get out uh, a pen and paper or a pencil and you just start sketching, you know, you revise it. And so that's the idea I had here for this V and this will act as the end of a pencil. And the way I just quickly did it is to First, control shift and the letter O to convert to outlines. And very simply, just take the pen tool and coming up right around here, doesn't matter really too precisely where it is, and create the center portion. And that might be a little bit too high for my liking. All right, right around there. And then to illustrate a little bit more, create a highlight. Holding shift, coming right around here, and then up like that. All right, so I may want to adjust this a little bit. All right, right there, it's a little bit thicker, will work better. All right, and to see what this looks like reversed, oh, well first, I wanna take this real quick. Take both of those, holding shift, go to Window Pathfinder, and exclude that front shape. 
That way it is transparent in the center. Also take these over here. First, I'm gonna right click and ungroup the text. Take both of those and merge those shapes. So now it's all in one shape. And then finally, we can control G to group those. All right, pretty, pretty simple. I. Uh, so now what I want to do is take this and control C and control F. I'll scale this down, both of these, holding shift and alt. Move this one over here. Take the rectangle tool. Go to layers. Put this guy down there and make this white. All right, so now I want to maybe make one slight adjustment on this and that is making this bottom portion come to an actual point all right so oops if i Take this point right here and hit Control H so we can see our selections and delete it. You can then take this and drop it down and just adjust it real quickly. All right. Also, something that's kind of interesting here is that. I don't know why or how that got in there. Oh, okay, it must have something to do with the uh, when I joined those up. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. All right. Now this comes down a little bit further, the pencil, obviously because the tip is longer. And so right click and ungroup these. And I move it up right around there is pretty good. And then take the rectangular tool Control Shift and O to divide the objects below. There, much better. So now, take that and we can get our view there. Now it comes to a specific point, which is perfect. And then also, I could paste the DC Lettermark logo in, which of course will be showcased along with it. What I would ordinarily do is get that lined up with guides and such, but I'm just gonna eyeball it for now. But yeah, very simple. I'm just gonna delete that portion over here just so I could have seen what it looked like. And that will be the name and the logo design of this upcoming series. So yeah, look out for that for one of the daily video tutorials coming up, and it'll also be something that I regularly do, uh, and that should be pretty fun. All right, uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.